Good morning, social media. We got Sheba, the broke leg pup, and we got Pimp. That's either Pimp or Hustler. I, I can't remember. I think I named him Pimp Player and Hustler. Those were the three males that I had. But that's Sheba, the bigger one. That's the broke leg puppy. Hello, Pimp. Well, Pimp is on the market, y'all. What's up, boy? Just a little octagon or something like an octagon. I'll probably bring them upstairs. In a little while, I got uh, <clears throat> I got Simone up there right now, eating. So after her little time upstairs is up, I'll bring these two up. They be down here squabbing though. They be out here barking and squabbing. You can hear them. Ah, ah, ah. I got them on that Sure Grow one, Sure Grow one hundred tab, and I got them on a, another vitamin. Just trying to, you know, because one of one of the other pups end up getting rickets. One of the pups got this litter. My favorite one, actually, my favorite one was that buckskin with the white leg. She went to Arkansas. You know, when, when you're selling dogs, never be scared to give somebody the best one. Or the one you perceive as the best one. You really don't know when they're puppies, but... You know what I mean? That's what you should be willing to do if you're going to be selling them. Now, if you're not selling them, then keep keep the one you think, you know. But I sold a couple of these, so... This one right here is getting darker than I thought she would be. Good girl. Just all the way in the bowl, huh? But that's enough room for them. It ain't but two of them. Got him on that puppy child. That's the puppy child with the mother's milk. If you ask me, I don't think nothing is better than puppy child. I'm, I ain't saying nothing is equal to it. I'm not saying there's not dog food out there that's equal to it. But for a puppy, puppy child is very satisfactory. It'll get the job done. Good boy. Good boy. I'll probably warm him out again today. I'm about to uh I'm about to order some new warm medicine from Epinet probably today. They got some they got some good deals on that warm medicine. Nice price. Happy New Year everybody. I hope I hope your uh, your holidays went well. I remember I got stuck up one year on New Year's. On New Year's Eve. One fucking stuck me up with a big ass night. We was in a very small area. Otherwise, you know, I'd have tried to back off and and whatever, whatever. But no, nah, we was in in between. You know how you come into an apartment building and there's uh there's two sets of door. You know, it's a doorway. You come in the door, push the buzzer, and then the motherfucker lets you in another door. That's where we was at. Well, actually, no, we had let me in the second door. But he he asked for what he asked for. I put it in his hand. And uh the mar stood in front of the door, he pulled out a big ass knife. He like, what you gonna do? He like you got a pistol? I said, nah man, just let me out. He let me out. He could have tried to run my pocket. But I did go get a pistol and come right back. And I was gonna shoot somebody, but I didn't know what door he was in. You know what I mean? I didn't know nothing. I just rang all the buzzers. At that time, I was young and dumb. 
I was just ringing all the buzzers, and anybody that opened that window was getting shot at. But luckily, nobody opened the window. Thank God. Because I could end up shooting somebody and had nothing to do with nothing. Don't forget, stuck me up on New Year's Eve. I was getting dressed to go out, and my little brother and them, my little brother had got a stain, got a call, boom, oh, woo, woo, dude, want something. I'm like, fuck it, I'll go over there. You know, I could use a, another couple of dollars from my, that's that broke, broke, broke leg right there, but it's, it's doing better, but it's funny. I got to take her back to the vet. Yeah, I'm going to set an appointment because it's all bulky and big right there. It ain't swollen, but it's big right there. I don't know what's going to end up happening with that. Is that going to end up being amputated or, or what? I don't know. I'm going to place her with some good people. I'm either going to place her or, or send her to my kennel partner in Carolina if he if he'll take her. You know, he might don't want no dog with a fucked up leg. But if, if don't nobody come get Pimp, Pimp is definitely going down to my partner. And I got another pup coming off of uh, Ready Rockin' Ginger. I think I'm going to send that down to Carolina as well. 